Welcome back guys and today I'm going to be continuing the TypeScript with Vue.js um, course right so this is a part two of the TypeScript um, course so the first one we did was basic um, type checking on your data properties and your functions and all that today we are going to take a look at how we can also do type checking on your view mixings now I've looked out throughout the whole internet for how to actually do type checking on view mixings and as you can see my tabs have a lot of things I have checked almost everywhere online and there's no like proper information or documentation that explains how to properly do type checking on your mixings when I using view and TypeScript and I'm talking about view 2 and options API right so it looks like all the information online were targeting um, the class based component way of dealing with TypeScript and mixings. So if you look at Stack Overflow, you can hear they're using class-based component to solve the issue. I mean, even here, it's still class-based component. So here's how you can use Nux property decorator. So this is like a Nux version of view property decorator or view component decorator, I don't know. Yeah, so there's so many ways you can achieve it, but most of them are just class-based component. And I'm not using class-based components now. And I think I took the opportunity to look into class-based components. And they're actually worth it. I mean, yeah. But I'm not using class-based components. I'm just using Vue's normal way of creating components. That is declaring your methods, your computer property, and all of that. So let's look at how we can get over Megsense in Vue.js, right? If you're using Vue 2 and the old way, this is how you can do it. So first things first, let me increase my font okay so i don't know if this looks better but i i think this looks better now so first things first um so i think in our last video we did some type checking right inside here so in this i've moved everything to a folder called types so it's very simple you create a folder called types so we create a folder in a nax root Core types and then we create an index or typescript so index or typescript is the file that I'm going to use to store all my data like all my data um, variables and functions or objects or arrays or whatever so here we have the class state because when we go to classes um, I think here right yeah so what we have right? the add class component so the class state is very simple so this is a function that returns an object right the return value is an object so if you create a class state and say the class state is an object that returns just this whole object right this is a whole object the function is returning so we create our own type called class state and then we create a global um, typescript file and then here we declare an interface that we are exporting called class state and then it takes the details that we are actually storing in our data property so in a data property we are storing the class details it is an object on its own we are storing class categories facilities trainers and active tab right so we have the same thing here so then here we declare the types that all these have but with class details is an object right but if we want to also type check the object um keys right the object keys in it right that's the name and all that stuff so in that way i'm going to create our own kind of type or our own kind of type so like we have an array type here we're going to create our own type and call it class details so here we declare an interface called class details and in there we have all the details that we are storing here in our data property all right so we have everything and everything is type that when i come here and i change trainers to a string i'm going to get an error that will prompt you to say type screen type string is not assigned to a type array of strings right so it means it's working so that is done very simple as that so the next thing we, we are dealing with how to type mixings you know mixings are like global methods or global functions that can be accessed everywhere in your web page right so in view 2 they're using normal view with not not with no Next.js, it's pretty simple to set up your mixings. But in Next.js, um, you can set it global. You can you can make your mixings global by just importing it in your in your when you go to your layout, your default layout, or 
your main layout right so you just import your magazines here and then you just use view the magazine dot global i mean the name of your mix whatever whether it's index or global or main whatever and then you put it there so you can see here we use the this sign to actually um fetch to get the location of our thing so here initially it was global.js but i'm using typescript so i change it to global.ts that is typescript okay good so we create a folder, a folder called mixins this right here and then we create a global.ts file right there so right inside our global.ts there's a lot of things we are going to be doing here so in a normal mixins file we just do our export defaults and we just write our metals and our data property computator whatever we want to do and then we are done right but in the typescript file where we want to type check it everything this took me a while like this took me some hours right to actually figure things out all right so i think this is the same file here so i'll close it is it so right here in the global file we have a method right so we can declare a method so the first method here is called get full name so get full name will take a first name a last name and just put a thing together to get a full name right so it's a, it's a function that takes two strings and then return a string so the return value is a string so for us to type our mixing that means all our methods in our mixing we had to tell um amazing that look we are we are we are going to create our own type called mixing state and the mixing state is going to be an object like this an object that returns functions right or methods right so we're going to create this mixing state in a new type so we we go to where our typescript folder is um that should be here and then because i don't want to mix the mixings with a with uh with the data property types i've created a new file called mixing types .ts. and here i'm going to put all the mixins types or all the mixing functions and their types here right so we can take this out because i was experimenting a lot of things doing try and error stuff so this this kind of look like this so the first thing we do is we create an interface called mixing state so just like it's just like the first one right it's just like what we did with um with it with the index right an interface called this and then we declare everything right simple so this is an interface also called types uh, mixing state and it just has functions right or metals at, as as they are as they are as their properties so we have the get full name and then we could have created a type here our own type here called maybe full name okay and then declare it and then set the function here but i've done i've done all the work for you guys so you don't have to look online and all that so this is actually a function so in in typescript so if you go here add information from here so if you go here you can see to actually create a typescript in to create an interface as a function you just declare your the interface name and this is it so when you create an interface you don't use the arrow the arrow here you use this apostrophe thing here but then if you're if you're declaring it if you don't want to create a new interface for it and you just want to i mean declare the state declare the type here as a function this is how you do it so the difference is that you use the bracket and um, the equal to with the bracket to say that this function returns a string that is it simple so with that said when that is done now let's say we come back here and we declare another function right so maybe ouch so maybe we have another function that says um i'm sorry get um get last or get date okay we have another function here called get date so we can see that we can now do a type check and say um year and say that is a that is a number and what what is that okay okay so we have to like so let's just return yeah right so we can we can we can also put in say this this should return a number something like that so now we have a new make a new mix or a new method so we can now add it here also right and we can say this is a function that accepts year and that is a number okay and it returns oh 
so we have to do this right yeah so if you trace a promise you just write a pro you trace a promise you trace a string if it's void you just put it there it doesn't retain anything so this is basically how it's done so i'm just gonna take it off because i'm building an application with this and i just want to show you guys how it's done whilst i build it so that is done so once your mixing type is set and everything is done here now how are you going to use it right in your project so you go to where i'm actually fetching the mixing yeah so here it's pretty very it's, it's very simple but also you have to pay attention so here you first of all i import the mixing state okay so once you put the mixing state now this is the this is the mixing you are using get full name so we pass in it we pass in the, the, the details that is a string first name last name or whatever and then because the this keyword is still not um uh, recognized in the in, in in here when you go to um yeah so in a view type um in a view type view and options it's still not recognized so i think there's a way you can do it and and and, and make it work here but then I, f I just didn't want to keep all my mixings here in one file so i wanted to make it in a way that looks nice and cleaner and more dynamic right cool so here we just wrap it under this bracket and say this as any because when you don't bring this it tells you that this is undefined okay so we say this is any and then as as mixing state right so mixing state yeah you're telling that we are we want to type check this mixing all right and we want to use a mixing state to actually type check our value our, our method so mixing state is an object right so we can just access it by using the dot notation and then we call the get full name so simple as that so this actually solves the whole issue so here when we put zero here we're going to get an error that says what arguments of type number is not assignable to parameter of a type string so that is our type is working on the mixing and that's really powerful like that's really exciting to know okay because it took me a while to actually get this done you can see i've looked almost everywhere online everywhere everywhere that you guys are going to search i've done all of that so yeah so that's how you can do the type checking for your mixins and then make it work okay so i was just testing out something just see if it works and it works so guys who are looking out to do it here you are don't need to go through all the trouble of searching for it and a quick note is those who are still waiting on the currency api part two I have the part two ready and you can see our api is working now so when we refresh this and let's say we have um let's change okay a hundred dollars so i think eventually i have to use a proper input i don't like this content editable thing so we have the united states so let's select um um great britain and then we have 81 great britain. so it's working so you guys check out the part two is coming very soon and yeah so for the type checking um your view makes sense that's all i have for you but i'll still be posting videos as i build the app as i find out things so you can see here i have an error here that i need to fix with it with reps so i have to find a way to uh, make typescript work with reps i think there's a way i've solved it but i'm still looking for a more dynamic and easier way so catch you in the next video and please subscribe and like and i'll see you